Hey there, it's Ray here with another real time edit. I hope you guys have all been out shooting and having a blast out in nature and enjoying wildlife. And I, I appreciate you taking the time to join me on this edit. So uh, this is another one of those that needs a lot of help, but I think has some potential. So uh, I had this chestnut sided in some pretty strong backlight, but it gives a real interesting look to it. But because of that backlight glowing and all this green grass down here, there's just some funky, funky colors coming up in there. So anyway, I'm going to start out with that crop. Just take a little bit off the right side there. Um, I'll deal with that. And Photoshop, let's see. White balance wise, it's funny. Look, he's like a little blue up there. Crazy green down here. I can't click white balance on that because then the whole image goes insane. I click white balance up there. Too yellow. So nothing to click white balance. I'm just going to manually white balance this. Go a little bit magenta with it and a little bit warm. And then kick up the exposure one. Drop the highlights. Shadows way up. Give me a little bit more on the bird. Blacks down for contrast. Uh, I'm just going to do a nice big soft um, vignette right here to kind of darken down everything else. And drop the highlights back down a little bit. Tone down that grass down there. Uh, still a little bit on the yellow side, so I'm going to back off of that just a little bit. And I think this is going to be a good starting point. Uh, I am going to open this as a smart object because I want to get a little bit less out of the background, a little bit more out of the bird. Um, and I think having the smart object, you know, just tapping back into the raw file is going to be the way to go there. So uh, first step is let's get the background where I want it, which is simply going to be a exposure drop I think and then less on the shadows there we go that puts the background where I want it actually that puts the whole darn image kinda where I want it so maybe I just leave that there and then with this lighter version I'll just punch that up even more so I can get what I want out of the bird there there we go and then we'll paint that in where we want it nice it's funny how sometimes just playing around with these sliders gets you where you want, you know? Um, all right, so I'll do this guy precise just so I have the selection and so I have um, the full amount of him lightened and then I'll just kind of fade it in like I've done before in some of these videos in the past. Plus, I mean, super easy selection here, right? Not Nothing too detailed. Uh, just a nice little round blob of a bird here with this chestnut sided warbler. And uh, yeah, this should work quite nicely. It's funny, it was only, I think it was only like maybe 40 minutes after sunrise, if that, but man, that light gets strong quick. It really does. Okay, there's that. Let me save that. Selection. Um, I like how the bird is brighter. Let's put some of that in the perch a little bit here so we'll just kind of fade that in a little bit just a little bit more there and then I think some of this can just lighten a little tiny bit so it looks a little bit less kind of extreme and intensely dark there alright now we have to come back and handle the contrast on the bird. Oh wait, I also got to kind of fade him out of there. So let me do that. Just kind of fade the bottom of him a little bit there. Also this rim light over there was getting a bit much. Something like that looks pretty good. All right, and now we have the contrast on the bird itself. So I'll put that back in the blacks here, especially on the bill. And we'll just kind of richen up these rusty stripes on the side there. Mm, don't know that I want to go much darker with those. But there we go. Uh, I think I could actually even go further with that. Make those blacks nice and black. Then we'll kick this catch light. Just get that showing there. And then there's still some areas that need to go darker, like across the top of that eye there. And basically, I'm just looking to not have him, like, washed out. So watch, when I don't have that, see how washed out the bird looks? Which doesn't make sense with how kind of contrasty this whole scene is. I'm going to drop a little bit more of that into the background. Just let those, these lighter spots go darker. Um, put a clone layer in here. Let's get rid of this and that. 
All right, now we got to do some color cleanup. So I'm just going to start with a simple yellow reduction. That's going to pretty much do it. So these guys are pretty clean white underneath. I'm going to leave it a little bit more yellow just to kind of blend him into the scene there, I think, properly. Um, there's a little bit of blue on the top there, so we'll kind of clean that up. Just add a little bit more yellow. And they do sometimes have a little yellow wash in the cheek there, I've seen sometimes. We'll also enhance that yellow cap. And then let's punch up, but keep the contrast on these rusty sides. And we'll just add a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow to that. And that should allow me to kind of just show those chestnut sides off a little bit more. And there, I think we have it there. Um, the grass is still a little bit too yellow for me. So I'm just going to probably shift it more towards the green side there and then just paint that off of the bird because it did horrible things to him. Definitely don't like what it did there. Uh, and let me see. Yeah, I'm just going to drop that layer in half, cut that in half 50%. And then what do you guys think? Let's do just a little bit more lightning on the whites of the bird there. I'll load that selection back up, paint it in right where I want it. Oops. There we go. Just kind of make him stand out a little bit more in that scene. Yeah, there we go. I think I can do a little bit more burning across the bottom here, though, just to kind of keep that darker. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. So watch from that to that. That's a bit crazy as far as like a nice big difference there. Uh, I'm Lastly, I'm just going to burn this one right there a little bit in there. All right. I think that's it. Let me get that saved. Oh, you know what? I just noticed a uh, little bit of, still a little bit of green kicking in there. I don't mind the yellow underneath, but it was just too green. So I'll just throw a little bit of magenta in there. Yeah, I think that should do. Cancel that save and then start saving it again. All right. Ooh. I don't know why it's trying to do another one. Oh, interesting. And I canceled the save. All right, well, I guess I will save it to, let's see what folder it came from. This is something, yeah, I've never done that before. All right, this is in, let me find out what folder it's in, 528. So we'll save it there. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Normally I can just, I should have let that save finish, apparently. I guess when you cancel in the middle of it, Lightroom must, uh, or I'm sorry, Photoshop must lose the connection of where that photo came from. And then now, of course, my hard drives are going to sit here and take forever to show up. So while I'm waiting for that to happen, oh, there we go. All right, let's go. Lightroom photos, the date, I totally forgot. What did I say? 513? Ugh, I forget. 528. I wasn't even close, was I? And I don't need a one on that, so we'll just save it like that. And I'll be interested to see if Lightroom picks it up and imports it, or if I have to manually import it. So this will be an interesting little test here. Anyway, while I'm waiting for that to save, um, rayhennessy.com, uh, then head to the workshop section, and then look for online workshops. Great way to figure out. Uh, or to sign up with me to do a bunch of different options. You can do online remote sessions, uh, the Lightroom course online, bird photography course online, and then of course my mentorships as well. So, all right, we got that saved and it looks like Lightroom did pick it up, so that's good. So here is your total before and after. So see what I'm talking about? Um, potential is there. I actually like how this one came out on the right-hand side there, but man, that original was rough with both color contrast and um, just lighting on the bird itself. So it's, a lot of the times these backlit photos definitely need some help. And yeah, there's the final image. And this is one that uh, I'm not totally set on this color. So I'll probably actually look at some other images or walk away from the screen for a little bit and then come back and revisit it with fresh eyes just to see if there's any really obnoxious tones because I'm feeling like maybe they're still a little bit too yellow 
yellowy green on the bird, but I'm not sure. Um, but that's how I'll do that because it's my eyes are kind of adjusted to it and it looks good to me now. Uh, but fresh eyes will always kind of give that away. So thanks for watching and see you on the next one.